Welcome to Lesson 5, Subtraction and Coordinates. Now you've already clicked on this button to obtain this video and you're currently listening to me explain the directions and later on I will provide you with the answers. You'll notice that we have quite a few coordinates listed here and down below is where they go. For example, in this coordinate this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 and so forth and so on. Here's D1 D2, D3, D4, and D5. What we like to have you do is do the calculation and place the answer in the correct coordinate. Okay? And the reason we're using coordinates is to make this a little bit more interesting because in the future you need to know coordinates for math and social studies. Let's look at example A1. Here we have 20 minus 4. Well, 20 minus 4 is 16. So you should place a 16 there. And let's look at D1. 13 minus 3. Well, here's D1. 13 minus 3, and the answer should be 10. Now, here's what we want you to do. When told to, we'd like to have you pause the video, complete all the problems, and place your answers down here. Then continue playing the, the video, and we will provide you with the answers. If you would, please pause the video now. Thank you. Well, welcome back to Lesson 5. Let's see how well you did. Now we'll go very slow for each one of these coordinates, allowing you time to write down the answer if it's wrong, or just check your answers and match them with ours. Okay, let's start in the first coordinate, the first row, A1. You should have a 16, then a 12, 24, 23, and a 12 again. In row B, coordinate B1, you should have a 9, a 16, 23, 12, and a 12. And in row C, coordinate C1, you should have 19, 17, 15, 24, and 11. And in the last row, coordinate or let row D, coordinate D1, you should have a 10, an 8, a 19, another 19, and a 14. Well, we hope your answers matched ours, and we'd like to thank you for watching our video. That's all, folks.